Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Espana Lama. But right now, I've actually gone ahead and actually did quite a bit of this off screen. I went to go with China because I wanted a treaty port, see if we can get some population. I should have recorded a video um, us doing it, but unfortunately right now we're ninth in the world. We got some severe competition, so <clears throat> from here on out, ooh, ooh, humiliate Joe Zon, huh? Um, we're going to do whatever gets us more prestige, like going to war and getting a bigger military and stuff like that, just because... I don't want to be ninth. Ninth kind of sucks. We are barely ninth because uh, Japan is probably coming up pretty quickly um, in, in terms of... Uh, oh, yeah, they're eighth. They're the ones who are going to be right below us. Uh, so their score is 2-2-3. Two, two, and we got a treaty port we can get from China as well. As you can tell, these guys were beating the crap out of a whole bunch. We don't have that many ships or you know units, but you know it is what it is. What is Germany over here? What? Oh, oh because they're our allies. They helped us out, so... Um, so yeah, our score is currently what? It is two. We are literally one point ahead of the Japanese, which is not good. But um, a couple of comments included uh, more Carlos Spain campaign. Yay! Uh, that's literally one of the comments. Actually, we might go to Africa. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll just spend more time down here. Um, we do want to go to war with Colombia, which we'll do eventually once we go back to war with America or North, well, the Union, I guess you could say, because the Confederates are here. Uh, we have Spanish Venezuela, which I do want to get rid of by getting out Colombia. I don't know how. America got the Suez Canal. There's so many Afro-Latino down here. North Italians, the Yankees, Dixies, Central Americans. How's it already American? Of course, they how? I don't understand. Anyways, uh, but yeah, that's a goal. Continue expanding in South America. I'm mean, overall like, let's see, we have puppets and stuff like that. Party loyalty, sphere influence, yeah. puppets, sphere influence. Cool. And for us, of course, oh, oh. we have some influence in there. But really, we need... I want Brazil eventually, but we have all Spanish South America pretty much, which is very nice. This is our little core territory. There's a comment saying, can I use cons commands to like fix the bugs? I can try. There's no guarantee, but yeah, not bad. Actually, for you guys, what is the French influence over? Some influence over there. French Algeria, of course, and Morocco down there. China doesn't have that much influence. Oh, actually, we do like this. Oh, actually, that's a lot better. Yeah, you can see the Germans have a lot of influence all over the place here, which is kind of interesting to see. It's kind of cool. The French have the Swiss... Um, Italy's, I guess Italian. Russia's doing quite well with uh, the Balkans, which makes sense. Greece is in the British sphere. British sphere. Um, hmm. The sphere of the United States, which is weird. Okay, Spain, of course, us. Dutch East Indies is, of course, Germany. So it's kind of interesting to see where the spheres lie currently. And Portugal's in the UK sphere, and I don't want to piss off the UK too much. Ah, Spanish Confederate North America. But let's see. Revolution, Jiaxing. Hainan and Ningbo. God, I hope we can keep our great power status. So, well, we can't take that one. Jiang. Well, let's see if we can find Jiang. Because I want the most populated area. For the most part. Ji. Jia Jing. Maybe Ji Jiang. Ji Jing. Okay, so this one's here. Not that much population. L Lushun. Oh, crap. I don't know where Lushun is. Qingdao would be nice. Wei Hai Wei. Uh, is that one? Hainan is down south, of course. Oh! Lushun. Oh, it's not bad, but it has even less population. Hainan's down here, which is a lot more population, which I do like. And then, of course, we have Ningbo. Oh, crap, where's Ningbo? I've taken Ningbo before. I know I have. Oh, right here. Oh, 100. Yeah, but as much as I like cotton, we already have the Confederates for cotton. And fish isn't that great. Uh, Lushun would become Port Arthur eventually, which is timber, which is not bad, or at least wood. And then, you guys have silk. Actually, silk is really nice to have as well. It's actually a pretty nice commodity to have, but I want population. We need population, so we're probably going to take Hainan, if possible. Uh, it's exempt files from contributing to your treasury? Oh, God, no. Do you need a convention? Probably not. Lushun, Jinan, Hainan? Yes. The city of Zuya, Shore Pearl, is named for the famous pearl fisheries of the region, now known as Kyongsheng, is an important stop to Shanghai and Formosa. Controlling would give the control over all of Hainan and would make an important uh, coaling station. Nice. And we want that one. Economic reforms in the Philippines, huh? But, at the same time, I guess we're reactionary still, which is fine. I mean, I prefer full citizenship, but whatever it is, what it is. Actually, state capitalism would be really nice. Limited citizenship. Union Liberal will probably be the way we go. We have a Chinese treaty port. We've got Rebel Cell Discovered, which is nice. But now we have Hainan, and we're going to definitely make this into a little fortified area in which, uh, well, we'll do the best we can and see who we're going to go to war with. Next. And here we are at everybody, in which actually we're at war with American Columbia because the Americans wanted to go to war with the Confederate States, but, uh, well, as you can see, it's not looking too good for the Americans, even though they do have quite a few armies left here. 
Um, so they still have Robert E. Lee here as well. Even though the Confederates are kind of losing in Ohio. Oh my goodness. Why would you get a zero dice roll? Terrain is bad. Crossing is bad. They have, they're dug in. Ooh. This guy's really good in defense. Holy crap. But I even ended, ended up sending an army to Missouri. And which we're doing okay. But I did demand, like, reparations from these guys. Let's, let's come up here, over here. Um, American Civil War. Um, with us and the Confederates and actually Rio de la Plata. We actually have quite a few more divisions. They lost quite a bit. They wanted to annex Confederate states once again, but not this time. But we do want reparations. And I demanded Alaska because why not? Um, so we took quite an infamy hit, but Spanish Alaska because why not? Not sure what else to do with my money, but, you know. Um, we'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Uh, which means, you know what, at this point, I think I'm, I'm probably just going to leave this army here or maybe transport between here and uh, Asia. Because right now, we're also at War with Saba because I wanted to go to war with them just so that we can get some more territory. So, of course, then again, when do I not want more territory? So, we're making a lot of money because of the war indemnities, war indemnities as well from uh, China, which is very nice. Actually, do we war with you too? A punitive expedition sounds like fun. Or we can demand a concession. Actually, getting Korea would be really good because the North here has so much coal. You know what? We go to Korea next. I love Korea as much as I want to finish off like South America. Um, I'm, I'm kind of probably gonna wait. Korea? Look, maybe Korea. Maybe Korea. We did finish off Romanticism, which is actually very nice. Come down here too, so we can speed this up just a little bit more. Thank you. Very good work. Very, very, very good work. And we're doing relatively okay on money as long as we take all the money from China. We're kind of okay. They have colonial unrest. No one cares about the colonies right now like that. Situation will pass. It's fine. If they want to rebel, then we'll just kill them all off. Oh, hello. Do we win? Oh. Uh, I want to cut down an infamy a little bit more, so... Uh, sure. Oh, they have slavery. Oh, what a nice state. What a nice state. Kutai. Yeah, I just want to take sure we get all this territory here, too. So I guess up next will probably be... The Kingdom of Joseon. Now we have a treatise on economics. The rally has been, been organized in one of our states by the members of the Spanish Charters Club, calling for the extension of the voting privileges to a broader strata of the voting public. While common relatively orderly on the surface, the rally might get out of hand at any time. Police are standing by, ready to intervene, among some among them even eager, eager so. Ooh, more prestige? Yes, we do. Um, now we went to war with Korea, and actually we got all of our soldiers killed off, unfortunately, because I don't have that many good soldiers, to be honest. We don't have that many soldiers. Uh, but they all died. Uh, but our ally is here, and they were doing really well, so... Yeah, I'll take Busan. Thanks. Thanks, allies. This is why I like having a lot of allies, because they're actually really, really helpful. Uh, Busan, Busan. So let's do that as well. Hopefully we can build some soldiers here. Um, at the same time, though. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go trade some soldiers here, too. That'd be really, probably, probably smart to do. Um, infantry. That'd be good. Get a second. Actually, get a horse. And get artillery. Is there anything else we can do there? No. We're trying to get core that place as fast as possible. But at the same time in the world, uh, Europe is on fire. Germany has gone to war with France. Um, Austria-Hungary is, is an ally of France, and they're getting destroyed by Italy and Germany. Even Russia has joined the war against the Germans. So, overall, I mean, we broke our alliance with them just because they didn't want to go to war. But then I re-allied them, so that's okay. Um, so, yeah. Kind of interesting to see what's happening. We have a lot of infamy, which is not good. It'll intervene eventually. So, I do want to take out Colombia. But America just keeps going to war with us. Isn't the American sphere of the French? Uh, Chile... I do want to take out Chile, though. So I think up there will be probably next, because we have to make them a puppet. So that they are definitely the next group, as much as I love killing off Korea. Um, we do need another army. So I'll go take this army that I said we leave here, and maybe go to Asia. So we'll take them, um, and go to probably down south. Actually, we could, and I'm making another navy, too, because we just don't have enough ships. Honestly, you guys probably just, just walk down here. Can you walk down here? Oh, I can't go through Kalmyk. God dang it, that's right. We're going to get some organized factories, too. And then go to war with China again. So, nothing like a good old Chinese war. Good. All right. Next, what else? Culture. Uh, research points. Happy 1870, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. Uh, eighth in the role for military, which is not bad, actually. And the French are... Ooh! Ooh! What happened? Humiliated. So, which means all these armies here that were here in Austria-Hungary can now go to Russia. Can now go to France. So, <clears throat> I should have joined the war, probably. But we're just, we're just too weak. Just too weak. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of dead Germans. It's going to be a lot of dead Germans, too. A lot, a lot of dead Russians. A lot more dead Russians, too. Oh boy. Even fighting a, basically a three front war, Germany can still probably win in the end. Also, they already pieced out with uh, Belgium. Belgium was already originally in the war, but then they said, uh, not today. Um, we need another horse here. 
horse. Yeah. There you go. And like I said, we're building up another navy. Actually, oh, the French are down here too. Oh, um, I'd like to go to Morocco maybe. Can we actually just fight against them too? Make demand concession? We probably could do that. We do get we did get Ifni, so there's that. Since we have so much money, I've just been building force because we can. Um Yeah, why not? Because we can. So God is usually work smarter. Not bad, not bad. And people just try to kill each other off some more. Which is pretty normal. Pretty darn normal. Just a historical thing, that's all. Former lines, increase relations first. Uh Franco Prussian War. Yeah. Liberate all sets of rain. Oh, Russia peaced out. Okay, so they peace out with them, and now Romania's at war with them too. Uh, Bulgaria's looking pretty sad. Oh, they annexed the United Baltic Duchy. Ooh. But we'll see if that actually stays, because uh, uh, Germany's not doing so well on this front now. Holy set disturbed, who gives a crap about the religion? This is just super important, just because you never know what's going to happen on this side. Uh, we'll see what happens. The Germans are doing now very, very well. In France. Maybe. But over here, it's definitely a struggle bus. <clears throat> And I just want to show this just because it's super important for the balance of in Europe. Do we still have the mission to civilize? Oh, we do. That's so nice to have. Uh, maybe not. Maybe... Oh! Oh! Holy crap. There they go. Now the German Empire is formed. Very nice. And they have 181s for score. And they're 200. So technically Russia is a bigger military. But now that the Russians have pieced out, all these other units that are kind of hurt, like really badly hurt, now they're coming to Russia. Um, well, we'll see. See what Germany can do. German, overall, it looks like the Germans are doing quite well-ish. Oh, they're going to lose. Oh, boy. I just want to see what's going to happen. Let's see. I force repeal. Oh. Locals are free to do whatever they please. Don't really care. Also, since we're here anyway, let's keep increasing relations with people in general. Romania, France, Austria-Hungary. Oh, they took another tile. Hello, discontentment. Equitable. No, we're okay. I know it could be justifying people right now, but I just want to watch this as it goes on. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not good for them. Oh, Liberal Party won. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate the Liberal Party. Uh, I hate the Liberal Party so much. Because you can't tax poor people more. Crap, that's not good for us. Overall, not bad though. Ah, oh, but since we're here anyways, go here. So you guys are here, which is fine. So it's in, you send you down here as well. Like, there you go. Ooh, that's not really good there. And we'll go to Chile next. And Brazil. But we'll call in all of our allies. But I want to make sure Germany's okay first before we actually call them in. <clears throat> mm, the Russians. Are, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, the United Baltic Duchy requires Essen, the United and Letland. So basically, nothing literally happened except that the, that the Russian Empire is not at war with Austria. Wait, what? Montenegrin liberation of Austro-Hungarian Montenegro. Montenegro. Huh. These guys cannot fight. They're worse than us. They're drastically worse than us. These guys... Okay. Regardless, Germany's alive. They're the world power. The French Empire was defeated, which is very nice to see. And uh, very soon, we're probably going to end up at war with Korea. And now, my friends, it's time for a little Chilean war. Hopefully make them a puppet, and then do what else? Will everyone accept? Including the Germans? Yes. And Montenegro is still doing well against Austria, Hungary, and France. Oh, well! Let's go in. Let's have a good time. Our Confederate States are in, which means America's probably going to go to war with us soon. We're still doing analytic philosophy, and that is okay with us. And now we've lost all war stuff from China. We did get stuff from uh, um, America, though, tonight. But we received word from the Russians that they intend to hold a conference of European powers in Constantinople to discuss the ability of the Ottoman Empire to maintain st stability in the Balkans. We should attend this conference to ensure Russian expansion into the Balkans is checked. Our representative shall attend. There's no need for it to attend. Our support, we're proclaiming our support for the Ottoman Empire. The Great Eastern Crest will be removed from Spain. Game five infamy. Um. Ooh. 
I don't want any more infamy, so. Sorry, guys. Oh, they hate us now. Wow, Serbia's nice and thick. Oh, Russia took Krakow. Or Lviv. Oh, bro, that sucks. That really sucks for you guys. Yeah, Austria was just slapped down hard. That was quite a bit of money. So we gotta go to war with China again next. So, they are our bank, which is nice. Uh, much more education, efficiency, national... Uh, actually, let's go breach loader rifles next. Because we still gotta go to war with people too, so... That sucks for you guys. Sorry. Oh, well. Russia's still not... Uh... Oh. Bro, that sucks. Cars. Okay. Oh, now I got really laggy. Well, let's keep going on down. See what we can do. Let's get just gonna hang out. Uh, out equipa. Why not? Oh god, they got very laggy. Oh good lord. Lag nation, a lactation. Keep educating, keep educating. Intervene eventually. Very, very good work. Excellent. Hey, the Confederates are down here. Nice. Look at that. Oh, and the rebels are killing themselves. Nice. Huh. Prestige. Ooh, as much. Oh, we need prestige badly, badly, badly. But I want more reforms. Oh, uh, 34%. We won't get any there yet, probably. Even if we do that once, we'll get, get, get the conservative stuff. Viva la Troisième République. So, Third Republic, huh? All right. Wow. Right on down south, then. So, trying to educate a lot of the populace here. We'll see what happens. We got enough score here. Germany loves us. How about the UK? It's very laggy right now for some reason. Go to war with uh, Korea. Go to war with Japan. Not Japan. Well, maybe Japan eventually, but because they have a very high literate population, which I love, 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 love how literate they are. But still. Oh wait, you guys have the same exact idea. Oh, cool. Confederates fun. Chileans, nothing like it. Our industry score is pretty lacking, though. It's pretty sad. Not gonna lie. Oh, I can't even invest in anything here too. It sucks. Look at that lag. Oh boy. What's this here? Nice. Very good. Santiago. Hope we get him as a puppet. What? Intellectuals? We have a lot of intellectuals. We are getting one thing of clerks and whatever places. I'm trying to put a lot of bureaucrats in like the Philippines. Maybe we can make them states. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. So. Nice. Very, very good. Head down here too. Nice. I do want more reforms. Shia Prestige is very good. Oh. Hey! The Red Piece now. Look at that. Yay, they're a puppet. Yay! Oh. Nice. And now, we can do the Capitanacy of General of Chile. It was incorporated in the Crown of Castile, as were all other Spanish possessions in the New World. The General Cap Capitanacy of Chile was first known as New Extremadura, a name subsequently given to part of Mexico, and then as Indian Flanders. The Capitanacy was part of the Vice Royalty of Peru, which shall now organize it as a separate entity from Peru. Beautiful. Return course to Peru. Sure things, guys. From the local governments, yes, please. Anything else here? No commission of worship wouldn't be terrible, but International African Association. We need a Berlin conference. All right. From the Spanish colonial army. If you're working on it, we need to get more ships up too. Economic regimes. We need to invent the market determined exchange rates. Asian farms and stuff. Oh, protectorate. We need nationalism and imperialism. Oh. Okay. We inherit Sulu. Oh, that'd be really good. We need New Granada next. We need Colombia badly. Insurance lands of Guatemala. Annex Cuauto Misto. Oh, we need to have high relations with those guys too. I'll officially recognize these guys. Oh. You see Gold Reserve? Let's take a look at it. Oh! We just got these as colonies? That's kind of cool. I like that, but still. This means this is going to be a big old pain in the butt. But Chile's here. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. And we're still in the sphere. 309. We're below the. Japanese, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually fix some of this stuff, because uh, increase relations with you guys. It reminds me of EU4, just trying to increase relations with all our puppets and such. Uh, Venezuela doesn't care for us that much. You guys are probably going to go to war this soon, but you have a higher military score than you did earlier. And then Portugal. 
keep increasing relations, and we'll go probably go probably go to war with China next. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and annex this place. As a result of complex medieval manorial relations, Kuoto Misto had leaded both Portuguese and Spanish control for centuries. Actually, operating as a sovereign state in its own right until the 1864 Treaty of Lisbon that partitioned the territory between Spain, which annexed most of the land, included the three villages, and Portugal, which remained with an, a small uninhabited strip of land. As uh, a de facto independent country, the inhabitants of the Kutuo Misto had many privileges, including exemption from military service and taxes, and could grant asylum to outsiders and deny access to any foreign military contingent. Which is kind of nice. But, I do want to go to war China. We'll see what happens. We just came back here, and we're going to try to invade them. And, of course, call their allies in. We want a punitive ex expedition, of course. Thank you. Actually, give it maybe a day or two. Let's be it just one more time. Of course, it doesn't help that we're a stupid liberal party. I hate this stupid liberal party, man. Why can't be a conservative party? And... Let's see, anything here for wars? No, it's fine. Let's just go and do it. Alright, there you go. Get in the water. Thank you. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me right now? At this time? Bruh. Fine. Oh, we're with Brazil as well. That just sucks. Oh, that sucks. Um... I'll be honest, I'm going to mostly just focus down south, so. We're China, Colombia, America. Did I call you guys in yet? Yes, I did. Germany! Oh, they have troops with America and... Oh, crap, that's not good. That's really not good. Are you kidding me, bro? Um, I did have another navy over here. Uh, I know that the second fleet coming over here too, so hopefully they don't get destroyed. I'm gonna be more focused on these guys down here first, though. So I'm gonna let our allies take out the Brazilians, hopefully, and we'll see what happens. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, we won. That's nice. Mao Ming. Oh. Hello. Okay, that's different. Are they headed to... Uh, okay, that's fine. Trap them. Not going to. Cool. Not bad. How much more score do we need? Probably quite a bit more. Oh, we're not even leaders here. Oh, that's going to suck. Um, Gulf of Tonkin, huh? Absolutely, guys. Hopefully, don't lose this war too badly. Oh, it's gonna be a crap show. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Um, I'm gonna have to redo this just because, like, it's not very good right now. You guys are doing well. Oh, oh my goodness, there's a lot of soldiers over there too. Um, Colombia's over there. These guys are actually doing well. We're doing not great. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, our ships are losing, actually. Well, that's not good. Of course, our ships aren't very good, like I said before. It's fine, whatever. Draw the mob all off, please. Thank you. Take the towel first. Cool. Are you good in defense? Yes, you are, sir. It's good. Routine guns. Um, we honestly need a lot of stuff here. Oh my goodness, machine guns would be so good to get though. Um, this is structure. I eh, grab that one first. Grab that one next, at least I guess. All right. Oh, okay. Officially recognized, we extend formal recognition of the Confederate States of America, opening embassies in the capital and formally establishing relations. He of course, will not approve. Uh, what else do we have? Valley of the Kings. The Valley of the Kings, Egypt, is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the government for monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of the Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than other great powers. It's fine. Nice. Filipino Education Decree. Through the Education Decree of 1863, Queen Isabella II decreed the establishment of the free public school system in the Philippines that used Spanish as a language of instruction, leading to an increasing number of educated Filipinos. This would be the first in a number of colonial initiatives that rendered the Philippines as one of the few places in the world where it was said to have visibly improved and prospered under colonial rule. Nice. Very awesome. An archaeological museum. 
Now that we have excavation rights for expedition, we should establish a museum in the capital for our artifacts. Wow. I think that's pretty good overall. Well, everyone, I just got... I'm getting kind of tired of this. With America always attacking, and we just white pieced out with them. Actually, the Confederate States white pieced out with them first, and then we white pieced out with them. So I'm going to keep this army hopefully here-ish. Hopefully... Just at this point, because the next time we go to war with America, I'm, we're going to just knuckle down. I And they actually did white peace out with each other, so... Um, yeah, I, I got I, I got tired of it. I'm just... I, I don't want to go to war with America anymore, please. We're still at war with these guys, but we're not doing it quite as well as we probably could, because we lost a lot of guys. Um, the Germans showed up here, so... There's that. Mm, German ship. A couple of guys here, too, so... Um, we do have another fleet, of course. So... I'm probably going to go here. Pick these guys up, too. Uh, let's see. Capitalism. It's fine. Can we raise tariffs maybe a little bit? Maybe for now? No? Yes? Uh, wow, Serbia is huge. Holy crap, they got rid of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Madrid, you're a lady. You're going to rebuild that place. Go right ahead. Nice. I guess I that they won't try to attack us at all. Because I know if we try to attack them, it's not going to go very well for us. Um, we could try, I guess. You know, we could... Oh. As soon as they do that, then they do that. Great. Yeah, Spain is still so not easy to play as. Man, what's going on? Oh. Italy, huh? Alright, well, good luck with that. Nanning. Ooh, they have opium problems. Makes sense. Oh, crap. 99,000? Holy smoky fathers. I better turn you down there, which is not that many guys. Can you actually do well still here? Hey! Okay, now we're back to reaction. It's not even conservatives. We're at. Ooh. Nice. Should that make up for a lot of money? Maybe, maybe not. That's a lot of soldiers. Holy crap. Um. Okay, leave, please, leave. Oh! We just had to wait. Okay. Yeah, we gotta really focus on more on naval stuff. Uh, but, okay. Exempt vassals, commission worship, established protectorate over Sulu. The Sultanate of Sulu has held close ties with Spain for many years, and now the possibility of us peacefully establishing a protectorate over this country in the Far East or Far Indies has arrived. Mr. Sons of Guatemala. When the Panama Canal was planned, several expeditions were set in the regions or sent in the regions of Central America. The inhabitants of the large jungles of Yucatan narrate stories of old cities and treasures. Adventurers and tomb raiders crossed the area and found ruins or stells. What precious items and artifacts made rest in the depths of the nature? We should outfit an expedition to search for some new artifacts, only in the name of science, naturally. The governor of Nueva España has decided to give full access regarding our expedition in the jungles of Yucatan. Our research can begin. Same thing with Guatemala, yeah. What's that bug? Oh. Colonization for an Po. The king was sufficient advance notice. Prepare a reception for the visitors. The kind of reception only he could prepare. From the outskirts of the town to the palace of the Mochu, Mochuku, the street was lined with two long lines of booby warriors, daubed with red with rivals and lances and holding buffalo skin shields. They cheered for the kingdom of Spain. At the end was the aged king Mocha. Standing next to his throne made of tree trunks, he still looked arrogant and for the reception he had naturally put on his best finery, the two-point full dress hat of a marine official in an old frock coat, but without the trousers. The monkey skin up apron hung from his waist, and in the right hand he flung his staff of command. To his right was Abba Mut, high priest of the Bubi, with his paddle in his hand and emblem of his dignity. To his left, his first lieutenant, Sas Ebuera, e e Buera. The elderly counselors and the king's sixty wives crowded him after the Spanish flag Mocha had received was a gift waved over the palace door. After two days of conferences and having as exchanged the customary gifts and time the bonds between the kingdom of Spain and Mocha, the visitors returned to Santa Isabel, not without the governor having guaranteed the king permission to use gunpowder. The island of Ferdinand Poe has been the stage of numerous colonization attempts by the Spanish and the British. The north of the island is home only to its European settlement, founded by the British as a base of operations to end the slave trade in the Atlantic. Despite that expansion, the colonization efforts have been largely hampered by the Bubia people, unified under the monarchy under King Mocha. After years of isolationism, the kingdom is opening up to Spanish advances, and we now have the means to colonize the island, submitting the natives to the authority of the Spanish king. Ferdinand Pope, nice. So then Geneva Convention, former local government, of course. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and the tree port, like, yeah. And we do deserve this one. We don't get. I mean, I did use. I have to use Kant's commands. Ooh, Taiwan concession. Capital Madrid is on the continent of Asia. Ooh. But, uh. Oh, that'd be really good. Oh, can we do that one? Oh, we gotta get radio te telegraphy then, fast. But, uh, yeah, just piecing out with the other group there. Colombia's next, though. Um, 
Ningbo, Lushun, Zhang Jin. Yeah, guys, this was a devastating war for us, which is really, 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 really bad. Um, but we're going to send over another group of ships, which... Don't forget, because I do want to go back to war with Korea, which we should do okay here, too. But still. Um, Ningbo is not bad. Still a lot of population in Ningbo. I don't really know if I want Lushun, because that's okay. And Jia Jing. Yeah, I'll probably go with Ningbo because of the population. Oh, look at this. Spanish Ecuador. Oh, yes. Oh, I love slaves. Ferdinand Poe. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, no one else really down here, so. Ningbo. Jia Jing. Ningbo it is. Well, Ningbo is one of China's oldest cities with a history dating to the Hemuda culture in 4800 BC. Ningbo was known as a trade city on the Silk and Road at least 2,000 years ago, and then it was a major port, along with Yangzhou and Guangzhou and the Tang Dynasty. Thereafter, the major ports for foreign trade in the Song Dynasty. A walled city sandwiched between the coast or ocean and low lying mountains to the north southwest, with coastal plain and valleys in between, it plays an important role in controlling the important peninsulas of Chuangshan and Jiangshan Peninsula. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, the textile industry flourished in Ningbo. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We greatly appreciate it. All we had to do was sit down here and just kind of wait. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now we're going to get way more money because of it. I wish we could make more guys, but we'll see in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So now, as you see, we have a striped Korea. I wanted to show you the war, but my god, it was so bad. Against Korea, it's fine. But then the Japanese entered, and then they just kind of destroyed us a little bit. So I called them the German allies and called in, uh, well, pretty much all of our allies, so as you can see here. Um, the Germans eventually showed up and then they left, but we were able to get at least this trip of Korea for now. We really need to focus on, I don't know, Spain is just so hard to play as. I don't think I can really recommend like a normal campaign like I normally do with other nations, because it's just, you don't have the population. You just don't have enough of anything to really push out. We have 38 million people in total. America has more people than that, and they've been, like, drastically weakened. Oh, look at those guys. Uh, for Oscar Wright, Thomas Jackson, but, like, I don't know, man. This is this is really flipping difficult. It's not like we're playing as Germany or Russia or the French Republic, but we'll see what happens. Also, like I said, you call the, the Germans, and well, I guess they're still war the Empire of Japan. But I think I'm done for the day. Uh, we've done this enough, and tomorrow, what, what, why did Japan get that? They're still war with the Confederates for some reason, but and they just yeah, they lost a lot of armies, but which is very nice for us. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when. We continue doing hopefully okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.